Rock it, man. Cool. All right. Hey, guys. I'm Dan Stevens. I am the founder of Kickbox. Uh, I'm your closer this evening. Thank you guys for having me out tonight. Um, first, for those of you who don't know me and don't know Kickbox and what it does, I wanted to see if anyone knows or just has a guess. That's not I know, Kickbox I know. Is. Yeah, but you're a cheater. You already know. Does anybody just have a guess? Nope. Yeah, see, so that's, that's exactly right. I mean, everybody, they look at my, like, they look at my ripped physique, and they see my kickbox t-shirt, and they think I'm some kind of kickbox ninja trainer. Um, it's not really quite that glamorous. It is, in fact, email verification, so not quite kickboxing, but it's close enough. So what is email verification? What is kickbox specifically? Um, so what we do, what we like to tell our customers is that we make sure that uh, when you have a list of, of customers for your business, that uh, when you send to that list, that those emails, first of all, they'll be received, and second of all, that they'll be well received. So virtually any business this day, they have people sign up for their service or they collect emails through some avenue. Um, and you know, you have the buttheads that are mashing the keyboard and entering in just SDF, SDF at SDF dot SDF, or some people are just, you know, Grandma McGee, and they, they transpose a letter, or they just, they just fudge their email address just a little bit. Um, and then after the data collection phase, then, then you have this database of tens of thousands or maybe millions or tens of millions of email addresses. And over time, people change jobs. Um, they die. Um, businesses go out of business. All those sorts of really sexy things happen. And, and then those email addresses, they stop being engaged with, or they, um, or they just bounce. So what is the big deal with that? Who really cares? Why not just let those email addresses bounce? Why not just let people, you know, you can send some emails out into the ether, no big deal. Well, these are the guys that care. These are the ISPs. They are the guys who receive the email you send, be it B2B or B2C. Virtually all the email you send is going to go through one of these guys. And when they see bounces, when they see low engagement rates, and they think you're a spammer, and they're going to start routing you to the spam folder, and that's obviously not good. Moreover, these guys, these are the ESPs, the email service providers, and they um, are the ones who most often send the emails on your behalf, and they have thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of customers, and they're putting their reputation on the line for you. So they start to see bounces, and they have to go, whoa, Nelly, we got to fire you as a customer because we can't have you drag our reputation down and have all of our thousands of customers start going into the spam folder. So okay, cool, Kickbox helps you um, get into the inbox, which is great. It helps the people who send the email um, for you uh, be happy with you. It helps the people who receive the email be happy with you. That's all great. Um, what makes Kickbox so special? Uh, well, first of all, it's, it's kind of our foundation. Um, my first startup, uh, it's 10 years old now, it's still around. Um, it is an anti-spam company, and in that time, we've invested a large sum of money and a lot of time and intellectual capital into building a geographically redundant infrastructure that has and continues to this day process millions and millions of emails every single hour. And so for our Kickbox customers, we've been able to leverage that um, to be able to drive very low costs for them, extremely high performance, and most importantly, we are extremely accurate because we are on the Internet. We are sending and receiving emails at high rates of speed. We're known. We're liked. Um, and more importantly to me personally is we are, we, you know, we are still an anti-spam organization at heart, which means we, we don't like spam. We've invested a lot of time and money in building anti-spam technologies into Kickbox. Um, and basically what that means to us is we only verify um, permission-based email lists. So if I've given you my email address and said, hey, Mr. Company, Mrs. Company, you can email me, um, then that's permission-based and that's great. Other than that, you know, we, we kind of detect that and we like to sort of fire those customers, basically. Um, and the reason that works well for us is, um, well, first of all, we've, we have over 2,000 paying customers as of today, and we yes. are, <laughs> woo, we've been in business for just over a year. Um, we opened a London office in April, um, and now about 30% of our revenue is in, the, uh, is in the European markets. And I can't really name drop, but a lot of our customers, I mean, if you've made flight reservations recently, you've probably used Kickbox. If you've used a, a dating service, you've likely used Kickbox. Not the ones that help you cheat on your spouse, not those guys. <laughs> Screw those guys. But many of the other dating sites, you've probably used Kickbox. Um, major online retailers, major uh, food chains and things like that all use Kickbox. So we've had amazing traction. We've partnered with many of the ESPs, the guys that send your emails. They like us because we help their customers get into the inbox, and we also have their kind of anti-spam mojo. 
Um, we're hiring developers and investors. We've closed our seed round, but we're exploring Series A. That's my time, guys. That's my company. Thank you so much. Any questions? Yes, Gabriela. Um, smart ones. Uh, we, we, uh, we work primarily in uh, Node.js, um, but we've found that a good developer is a good developer and they can pick up what we do pretty quick. Yes, ma'am? Yeah, so it's a little dude and he's kicking. <laughs> I think I need a dermatologist now because I just tore something, but. Um. Yes, sir. Yeah, so the question is, do we support uh, list, uh, batch lists and what's our pricing? Um, yes, we do. We have two ingestion methods. One is our API. So you call the API and say, hey, is this email bueno or no bueno? Um, and the other one is you can upload a list or you can actually import it from your email service provider, your MailChimp's campaign monitors, things like that. Um, and we charge per verification. So you can buy 500 verifications for um, $5 and we have companies that spend tens of thousands of dollars for their 50 million email list and things like that. So it's a penny? It starts at a penny, it goes way down when you have the 10, 50 million email addresses. Okay. Yep. Bill. Have you spoken to um, Joshua Bauer at Capital Factory? He's like the guru when it comes to making AI wow. email. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if I've spoken to Joshua. I think maybe Jack has. I'll have to ask Jack. Okay, I'll run that by him. Cool. Anybody else? I just nailed it. Oh, yes, sir, one more. Okay, so the verification, is that actually saying that you know that it's a real email address that has received the sent? Or what other steps do you do as far as like just detecting maybe it's a bad looking email address? Sure, great question. So kind of what are the different level verifications? What things do we look at? Um, so there's several things. We see an email address. We can tell, obviously, if it's a free email address like bob at gmail.com. We can tell if it's a role email address, which would be support at acme.com. Um, we can tell if it's a disposable. I don't know if any of you guys have used Mailinate or anything like that. Um, if, if it's a bad domain, we can, we can kind of fix that and figure that out. If it's a bad user, we can't because that would require kind of this permutation testing where we're hammering SMTP servers and we like to not do that. So we can't do the user part, but we can the domain part. Yes, sir? Why was constant contact not on your list of partners? Because <laughs> uh, I didn't have room and because I do not like their logo. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> They're great. They're great. Good guys. All right. Awesome. Cool. Thank you guys. Thank you.